Welcome once again to 0K. So this is the uh, brand new patch. The commanders have been changed around a bit and so yeah for some reason they allow loads of companion drones and uh, battle drones to be added on this time around. I'm not entirely sure if that's such a good thing but what the hell we'll give it a shot for our little vermin lord commander. So 1v1 myself versus unreasonable. Yeah, let's see what to go as. Yes, yeah, scroll 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 jump jets, see how that works out. Bam, bam, bam. So yeah, the commander um Yeah, the way that the commander's working now is apparently a bit more flexible in terms of upgrade and such. Too much metal, not bad. Um But uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um this is the first time I've ever actually used it, so the hell. Perfect. And yeah, they can just run out. I mean, they'll probably run into a glaive or something. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, got that. Bring up that. Perfect. Hopefully he's not jump bot as well, otherwise I'm going to be a little bit uh, oops, a little bit um, undercovered in terms of the uh, fences there, but uh, we should be fine, hopefully. We'll just uh, this guy up here, I might be able to get him to jump. And uh, yeah, what the hell, we'll see what happens. Oh, puppy's under attack, and oh shit, I think that was a. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that was a um, Pyro that I saw on the mini map. I'm not entirely sure, but we shall see. Actually, no. Ah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, good to know. Energy A, I wouldn't have guessed. So, okay. Oh, right, right. We'll get him to build that first. Actually, I might have to be very careful. Actually, I might decide to go across from there. And yeah, definitely have to get a bit more energy. That's for sure. In fact, all the stuff is actually going into energy right now. Kind of uh, leading off a bit. Come on, just one more should do the trick. Hopefully, there we go. Perfect. And probably could do some radar as well for that matter. That's right. Shit, kind of screwed up things a bit when it came to energy, but oh well. Oh, and speaking of which, you need to do that. That. And then you can assist. Actually, no. And then you can do that. And then you can do that. Perfect. Oh, here we go. Wow, I can't believe I actually managed to destroy him. Oh, okay, because of course I'm using that. Reverse um, micro. Actually, in fact, what I might do is. What the f whatever. Anyway, I might actually see if I can do a bit of harassment, actually. So, just uh, sneak one there, and this one can go here. Chances are it's probably going to have some defenses, but eh. we'll see what happens, old sports. Go okay, perfect, and there. Okay. Basically, just try to pressure him as much as possible. Really, that's the name of the game here. So, Vermin Lord. Oh, okay. It actually says it's level one now, despite the fact that yeah, it doesn't have an actual uh, any upgrades or anything like that. Oh, here we go. Really? He put his factory there? That's weird. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Alright. And. Yep, away you go. <laughs> Outstanding. Okay, so. What the hell am I supposed to actually make to counter pyros as jump jets? I'm entirely sure, to be honest. In any case, you can go over near, you can go over near. You can build your stuff near. Oop, shit. Ah, I should have been a bit more careful, damn it. Oh, actually, wait, I'm. F oh, actually, wait a minute, this might actually be a good little trap for them, possibly. Oh, Andy needs to get out of there, actually. Oops, yonk. Damn it. Ah, well, whatever. Take it out anyway, so screw it. Perfect, you can just heal up actually. What am I 
I just do is I might get a... Should I go directly for sumo? I don't know, probably not. Let's go for jack instead. There we go. And I'll actually morph them up. So for autumn to morph, or upgrade... Yep. Okay, so I guess that means we can decide a little bit more on the fly on what we're actually going to get. Probably, mate. How the f... Whatever. God knows how he fucking suffered damage from that, so we're fine. Quick little probe. I think we're out at expanding, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and speaking, we should actually do a bit more power for that matter. Whoops. Whoops, yonk. Yeah. Just go over there. And uh, I can jump anyway. Fuck it. There we go. Oh, interesting, it hasn't expanded there yet. Speaking, we haven't actually expanded to the middle yet myself either. Well, in any case, we get a little bit more. Oh! Okay. Yeah, looks like I've got a thing there to head towards as well. Huzzah. Yeah, I think we're doing alright. Surprise is actually not trying to counter harass. Oh, what the hell? Ah, there we go. So, that certainly gives me a much better picture, and so does that. Perfect. So, it doesn't look like there's any actual defences there, so I think I can actually just attack. Assuming just get him to go over there and to attack. Well, he's got quite a few things in his base, must be wind gens, I'm guessing. But, okay, that's an interesting uh, expansion pattern there, but anyway. There we go. And build a quick one of those. Oh, whoops, what about you? So, good old Vermin Lord. I don't think he's actually seen it yet. Anyway, he's got uh, Connery Pack, part of the beam, that's targeting system. Apparently, the. Uh, there we go. Oh, forgot about that. Um, apparently, now commanders can be built by the Strider Hub, actually. Uh, wow. Okay. Have to be a bit careful, it seems. No problem, eh? Well, we should be able to outrange these things pretty easily. Yeah, I think we should be able to. Yeah, so screw it, I'm even going to go... Oh, actually, I might have one already. Well, there we have it. Short but sweet. Um, definitely a, a lesson in... Um, oh, yeah. In out expanding your opponent, harassing cons constantly, and so on and so forth. See you next time. Back again for another round of 0k. It's going to be one versus one on the desert... Sorry, on the desert cliffs map. Um, or is it desert cliff singular? It's desert cliffs because there are multiple cliffs. Anyway, um, so it's going to be a one versus one between Anna and Joe Doe. Obviously, right. <laughs> um, I was originally going to be playing in this one versus one, but I wanted to create a new commander for close quarters combat, and uh, well, it actually um, the round started. Instead, before I could do that, um, so instead of Anna playing me, Anna is now going to be playing Joe Doe. So why not? Their elos are not, well, they're somewhat different, I guess, but still. Perhaps. There we go. Any more freeze, and that would be ostentatious. <laughs> is that a lobster getting boiled, I'm guessing? But anyway. Yeah, well, actually, wait, is that, or is that a rat? I think it's a rat. With a very camp, no camp nose, should I say. Brilliant. Anyway, probably should be focusing on what's actually happening, since I'm actually going to be uh, commentating. Oh, commentate. And I misspelled that as well, but I'll screw it. Anyway, so, um, Joe Doe's gone with uh, shield bots, and got cloakies by Anir. So, going to be a somewhat asymmetrical matchup. So, we had a quick... That's a grey rock. Pretty sure he sent in something but it died, or maybe not. Well, in either case, it looks like Jodo going for the uh, quick dirt bag, and uh, yeah, it looks like Anna going for a whole bunch of glaives, and 
not much else it seems. So, what the hell, let's actually focus on what's happening here. Um, for some reason, Joe do... Oh, okay, so instead of getting um, more bandits, it looks like he actually upgraded his commander instead, his yum yum level 2 commander. And he needs to watch out for these glaives though, that's for sure. Actually, what did he upgrade it to? So, shotgun and armor plates. Well, now there's a close quarter combat commander right there. If I do say so. And as for Anir, it's uh, commander 2, only level 1, so it hasn't actually been upgraded yet. Oh, oh is that a rat's nest? Okay. There we go. Screw it. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, because uh, yes, I guess that's uh, in reference to the vermin lord thingy and all that jazz. But anyway, oh, too damn adorable. But anyway, um, that aside, it looks like Anair has actually managed to expand pretty quickly to the middle, and the middle is a very, very important part of this map. I mean, normally the middle is very important um, in most cases, but uh, especially so on this map, the way it's elevated, um, the fact that uh, because the map is relatively small, actually it's quite small, um, and the fact that this is elevated, it makes it a very, very important location to create as a strong point. Um, important region in this map. That being said, though, there's definitely quite a bit of room to manoeuvre around that, but the middle definitely very important, so... Huh, I'm surprised he actually put the radar tower that far back, although... Okay, I suppose I can see why he sort of did that. He wanted to catch a bit more of what was happening towards the uh, side bits as well, though. He could still could have done that if he put it... Well, okay, maybe not, actually, because of that massive radio shadow. Radio shadow, I meant radar shadow. Although he might as well just put it out front, at the front here, then. Really, then he would have been able to see just fine if anything was trying to flank, but uh, yeah, whatever. In any case, we got a uh, bit of a skirmish between these uh, bandits and glaives, literally fighting an uphill battle. Definitely not what you want to do, especially with raiders, especially with raiders that have shorter range versus these other raiders, and especially when they're running back like that, actually. So and they're definitely finding himself in a bit of a tricky spot. He did manage to ward off um, Jodo's um, bandits, so I'm not really sure why Jodo didn't just stay here, to be honest. In any case, does he have radar? Oh, yes, he does, right here. Off towards the sides, though. Interesting. And also got e-stalled by Anu. I didn't actually notice. They're both e-stalling, actually, but um, Jodo's not really e-stalling as bad. I mean, he's at least got his n uh, enough energy compared to our metal production, while Anir, on the, other ha on the other hand, is really badly installed. In fact, it looks like he's uh, going to be accessing, actually, a bit of a uh, bad position to be in. But, that being said, though, he does still have the middle. He's very slowly expanding outwards, and yeah, this is going to be a pain in the ass to uh, dislodge, although we do have thugs coming in there. They should be able to tank the damage pretty easily. Then the bandits can follow up and destroy the... Uh, Defenders as well, and since his commander's not actually upgraded, he might even be able to snipe his commander. Actually, I have to be very careful to see if that'll happen. He, sh he really should get his guys away from the command. Actually, no, it's a bit too late now, though. Ah, such a shame. Actually, he really had a great opportunity to um, to destroy the commander in one fell swoop. But he actually might get another shot. And he's actually keeping his commander forward for some reason, and down he goes. So wow. S he set himself up to be knocked out. Now this thing's going to get destroyed by Sives, all things, not bad. Well, no bad harassment actually by Anir. He did manage to do some damage, but he got watered off by the massive amount of defenders. Very good placement by John Doe's. You, and you might notice as well, actually, they can just, just barely reach over the uh, solar collectors as well, actually. Something that I don't normally... Um, I don't normally put them behind solar collectors myself, just because they don't reach over them as... as high as the uh, LLTs do, uh, Lotuses do. Still though, they can just barely reach over them. Um, it can sometimes be a bit of a detriment against the really tiny raiders, depending on angle and such, but in this case it actually seems to work out just fine and dandy. And now we've actually got Joe Doe coming up with his own commander assault. He needs to get out of there, and he manages to do so just in the nick of time. Managing to keep his commander alive, very nicely done. He's actually... Um, in trouble of accessing himself, he is. Oh, no, he's not 
She had full dice, so it should be just fine and dandy. Want to succeed? Oops. Ah, he's come on. He's Power, exactly. But anyway. So, just have a look at what's happening. I mean, yeah, Jojo definitely uh, doing a good job surviving the initial onslaughts, providing a bit of a pressure here. I don't think he actually just ended up destroying any mexes or anything like that. But he did manage to destroy the commander of Anir, though, and that was uh, very nicely done. He should be, in my opinion, he definitely should be. Um, Reclaiming that as quickly as possible. He definitely needs to watch out for these damn scythes. But it looks like here. More scythes, indeed. Yes. Anyway, he is going to be making a bit of an assault of his own. He definitely needs to not cl clump up his crap either, actually. Just, uh, there we go. That's what I like to see. Some simple line moves really could make all the difference. And if Anna is not careful, he could possibly get torn to shreds, actually. Right now, uh, it'll. Well, what he does of his scythes will be very uh, crucial, actually, to see if maybe he can pr put too much pressure on his opponents, maybe force him to bring back his glaives, but chances are, oh, not his glaives, his, his bandits, but chances are, yeah, I think he's just going to continue tearing up the base. Might even be able to actually, what's the range? I don't think they can reach the factory, though, <coughs> sorry, the factory, though, without getting targeted by the Lotus. Maybe just barely at the fringes, but see yeah, a warrior coming in by an air, and that's going to completely drive them off, but it's actually rather fortuitous for um, Joe Doe because he's actually going to be running into yep, a completely undefended base and he's actually going to be seeing the uh, gunship plant um, as well, so that was very fortuitous indeed for Joe Doe. It's such a shame he actually uh, watered his troops back towards his second base, which got destroyed instead. So, yeah, interesting game nonetheless. Uh, good art, Kawhi Rat's Nest. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Zero K. Um, it's going to be a one versus one on the uh, map June Patrol, and uh, yeah, so yeah, one versus one between Anna and Joe Doe once again, and yeah, decided to just uh, I don't know do a similar introduction to uh, Shadow Fury for no particular reason. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll be spectating this one. It's another one versus one, and nobody wanted to join the team game server. Oh yeah, it does kind of look like a rat, actually. Um, nobody wanted to join the team game server, so screw it. What might as well just uh, have a look at uh, some more one v one play between other people. So Jodo not starting out. Actually, never mind. He's going to be starting out with a light vehicle plant with his uh, Yum Yum Commander, and Anya going to be starting off with an engineer trainer. So and with Anfibs. So yeah, Anfibs versus light vehicles. Pretty sure the map is vehicle pathable, if I'm not mistaken. That is one massive tail for a rat. But uh, anyway, let's have a look. Okay, apart... Oh, okay, so it's just trees. But apart from some cliffy bits... Uh, well, ste steep inclines, not really cliffs. Apart from that, yeah, the map pretty much... Uh, is open to vehicles, but uh, given how small it is, I dare say that bots can uh, work as well. And uh, even, I dare say that even, actually, let's see the middle. Yeah, middle's relatively evenly distributed apart from the corners. Um, yeah, I, I dare say that even the slow amphibs can work actually just because of the water that's in the middle. So that's, uh, should make things interesting actually. Uh, and yeah, I mean, even though the vehicles can puff over these little hilly bits, they will go much slower. So that's something to, uh, Consider as well, actually. So, now starting off with a very quick Lotus, and just to stop his Contra from getting utterly destroyed by that um, Dart. Although, I mean, the Ducks would have come in anyway to save him, so it really matters that much. And yeah, those Darts have got really massive sight radiuses, actually. I'm not really sure. Or radii, I should say. I'm not really sure. Um... <laughs> that was weird. Left the room, yeah. Anyway, um, not really sure why I didn't just retreat it, actually, because you could see those Ducks coming from a mile away, but. Uh, Whatever, I mean, Joe Doe is, uh, he's, barely, he's barely got any vehicles out, so he, let me guess, he's going to upgrade his commander, maybe? I mean, it's still only level 1, though. After they made that commander change, level 1 is actually what they start off with, rather than level 0. Huh. Interesting. Actually, where's his radar? Ah, right. 
there. Doesn't have it on the left though. Might be vulnerable to a left flank. But he does have plenty of lotuses. I'm surprised he didn't actually put the lotus just up in here actually, just to make it a bit um, more impervious to uh, raiders. But yeah, what can you do? Now we've got some um, beavers. Ah, okay. Indeed. What is rat? A rat. Whatever, he knows what I mean. But anyway, yeah, we did have some initial harassment. Uh, let's see, two ducks? Yep. Is that a duck? Yes. Actually, a whole bunch of ducks. For the price of one mix, not a particularly good trade, to be honest. In fact, um, Anir, because as you can see, he definitely is exploring the rest of the map. You can probably tell that his opponent is actually ex expanding rather slowly, so it's actually, and the fact that he is not really getting harassed much either should be a nice little cue to enter it actually to uh, try to expand as much as possible, and in fact that's exactly what he'll be doing eventually. Okay. <laughs> Do it for our viewers, old sport. But anyway, um... Oh, it's right there. That's weird. Why the hell did I notice that? I just... Huh. All right. Well, anyway, there it is. Yay. <laughs> Outstanding. Outstanding. Tail facing forward towards the future. Actually, it's a ridiculously long bills now. It really does look like a bill, actually, at that point. But anyway, enough of bills. It's time to look at this nice little duck attack, actually, and see what kind of damage you can do. Well, one mix for one duck, that's a pretty good... Oh, actually, it's not a duck, that's a dart. Well, even better, one dart and one mix for the cost of new ducks. Huh, that looks weird, but anyway. Yeah, definitely doing a good job containing uh, his opponents. Um, if these guys... Okay, they're all just, just moving in unison. Um, and he's actually at level 2 once again, so shotgun and armor plates. That actually could work very nicely. Um, He'll absolutely demolish the ducks with the shotgun, and the slashers will be able to ta to do quite a bit of damage. Um, wow. Okay. We'll be able to do quite a bit of damage at range. I. Wow. Okay. I'm surprised he's actually not dead yet. He definitely needs to retreat, though. That's for sure. Um, very lucky his commander's actually still alive. Thankfully, his slashers are doing their part, getting utterly destroyed. I dare say that that was... I mean, provided that he can actually reclaim this, I dare say that was actually worth it. Um, is that going to be supporting the commander? Yes, it is. But Anir is on it, so he's on it very quickly, like a cat on, on a can of sardines or something. Reclaiming that crap as quickly as possible. Oh. Indeed. So unfortunately, yeah, um, if Jojo could have reclaimed that, that really would have come in handy. But as it is, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just not going to be enough, unfortunately. And his expansions seem to have completely stopped as well. Actually, never mind, he's expanding slowly but surely. But as you can see, we do have Anir now going with naked expansions. So, yeah, like I said, it always pays to do as much scouting as you can, actually, because, um, I mean, even just a single Scorcher would just take out these expansions before the ducks could come in to, uh, to rescue them, so, yeah. Either that or just scout it with a dart, actually, if you're afraid of losing the uh, Scorcher too quickly. Actually, these guys... Oh, the water's not even deep enough for the ducks to go underwater, actually. That being said, though, I'm pretty sure they do still... Do they still heal, like, heal up quicker in shallow water, or do they actually have to be submerged? I'm entirely sure. But in either case, yeah, very good naked expansion by Anir, and he's doing a good job actually keeping the pressure up. Um, Jodo's force is completely caught out. He should have suspected that the ducks would be hiding. Actually, not even hiding, really. That's shallow water. Um, where's his radar again? Uh, yeah, he, he actually saw them, so... Yeah, that's very strange. How we... Um, and now he's actually redeploying them. Huh. Well, I suppose he kind of has to, really. He doesn't really have too much in terms of defences here. And his commander's all the way here. He might actually be able to do a bit of pressure with that commander. Just have to be very careful about these ducks. But he does have the shotgun, though, so that'll definitely help out quite a bit. Hmm. Jojo, they're definitely getting caught out. And rather unnecessarily, I dare say. Um, since he would have seen the ducks in the uh, lake in the middle. So he definitely should have known that they, that they were there and they could potentially... Um, 
attack the uh, southwestern expansions of Jodo, but uh, nope, just wasn't meant to be. And in fact, he probably should be backing up the. S <clears throat> Sorry, he should probably should be backing up the slashers with um, either a couple of levelers or possibly even just a couple of scorchers, because if these guys try to get too close to the slashers, then that'd be perfect for the scorchers then to. Um, close in on them and then I'd lead, annihilate them actually while the uh, slashers otherwise would take them out from range but in any case yeah ducks now come swiveling towards the uh, northeast and I think Jodo should be all right it might have actually been better off going with a um, machine gun commander but what the hell shotguns still not bad either actually and provided that he actually does reclaim this as quickly as possible he actually won't be too Lost a hell of a lot of slashes for just a few ducks being killed. If he does reclaim it though, he um, still might uh, have a chance to get back in. But as it is, yeah, as, as you can see, Anna has just uh, expanded way too. <laughs> really? Anyway, Anna has expanded. Uh, some people. Anyway, Anna has expanded far too much compared to Joe Doe, and uh, yeah, it definitely shows in terms of economy his uh, military is way bigger as well and he's actually gone for would you believe it has gone for gunships gone for a whole bunch of rapiers so no grizzly or anything like that in fact he's switched completely to gunships why not getting a fusion reactor as well making sure that, yeah getting a fusion reactor as well making sure he's got plenty of energy so he's definitely in a very good position now what could Jodo do to possibly recover from this well we do have quite a few Naked expansions. <laughs> Cute. A duck even with a smiley face on its little bill thing. But anyway, um... Yeah, baby. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we do have a few naked expansions where you could possibly, uh... Which you could possibly destroy, but even then, I still got the rapiers to worry about. There's still the northeastern expansion. He needs to keep expanding himself. Yeah, it's just, uh... I mean, it. Oops. Did not leave. Okay, that is definitely. Uh, must be some sort of a glitch. But anyway, um. Yeah, that's. He could try to harass the naked expansions as much as possible. He still has to worry about the uh, Royal Defenders. Indeed. But honestly, yeah, it wasn't really any single thing that Jodo did wrong. It was really more so a series of um, small mistakes that, uh, relatively small mistakes that um, ended up building up over time. His very uh, cautious expansions, his um, sacrifices of slashers, and uh, then leaving the uh, reclaimed field to his opponent. Fields, actually, I think it happened a couple of times. And um, yeah, just not uh, harassing the naked expansions of Anya as well, actually. So yeah, yeah, so a few things he could have. Ouch! Oh, well, a few things he could have done different. But oh well, hindsight is fifty-fifty. No, not fifty-fifty. Twenty-twenty, as they say. Now his commander's under threat, and wow, he's almost got one shot by those things. I'll have to say though, very good. He's done a very good job, actually, keeping his commander alive. I mean, really, he's both, um, both accessing hardly. Well, uh, Jody doesn't seem to be accessing, and I know he might, might have been, actually, for a second, but not, um, not now, at least. So, in any case, yeah, very good job t uh, keeping his commander alive, definitely paying dividends. And he's actually gone for gunships himself as well. Well, why not, say, hey, why not? Weekdays are boring as hell. Well, I suppose it depends on what you're paying attention to. I dare say that the week, this week has been rather interesting, what's been happening in the world. But uh, anyway, I'll talk to him about that a bit later on. Right now, we're going to be observing what's happening in this dandy little 0k game. So these rays are being built up here. Unfortunately, though, can't really do too much against ground units. Didn't even manage to build up the solar collector. Holy shit, that went down fast. And I'm not even sure if it's really worth going after the razor now, actually. No, but he's not even bothering with it, he's actually retreating. Actually, you know what, maybe we should just go and keep, keep going after the Razor, because really there's nothing else to go after them apart from the uh, rapiers of Jodo. But really, Jodo, he is... Unless if he can make a significant breakout happen, or maybe unless if he can destroy his opponent's 
base or even a significant chunk of it in one fell sweep, he's, I dare say, he's screwed. And now with the uh, crowd being built up, yeah. I have to admit, the Tridents definitely uh, will provide some resistance against the crowd, but 16,000 health against only three of these guys and a bunch of rapiers. That crowd, I mean, okay, and especially with the rapier support and with these guys coming as well, actually, I'm assuming they're all going to attack at once. That's just going to completely uh, bulldoze Jodo's forces, really, so I don't think Jodo has too much of a chance. He is still continuing, though. He hasn't given up yet. But, uh, yeah, once he sees the crown coming, in fact, the crowd's not even going for the main base. It's actually going straight for the commander, presumably. And um, once he sees that, he's probably going to be a bit more likely to give up. So will his commander be able to dodge in time? Yes, he will. Very nicely done, commander. Very nicely done. Unfortunately, though, he didn't jump away far enough. Um, so he still got destroyed by the uh, D-gun attack of the crowd. Whoopsie onk. Ah, well, and the crowd is still going to be just fine and dandy. Didn't even lose half his health. Brilliant. Nice, very nice attack, actually. A little bit more conservative than I would have 40 actually would have done, but still, that um, that attack itself did uh, more than enough damage against Joe Doe, and, I mean, really, looking at the uh, incomes, 19 versus 61 medal. Okay, now down to 49. Alright, we'll just say 19 versus 50 medal now. Yeah. And not to mention, and you're having that ridiculously powerful crown now. Yeah, he's definitely got this one in the bag. But, Jojo, bless his heart, he is uh, not out just yet, though. But, uh, yeah, with this support coming in from a whole bunch of tridents now, yeah, there's not much they can really do, honestly. And, yeah, especially with these guys now coming in, actually, the ducks. In fact, I dare say, with support, they could actually... Wait, is this is going to be a pain in the ass. Ah, oh, no, never mind. I mean, they would have destroyed him eventually anyway, but it would have just taken a bit longer. Um, there you go. <laughs> Actually, what was the excess? Let's have a look. And let's see. Metal spent. Metal excess. Oh, okay. So Jojo this time actually accessed a hell of a lot of metal. Almost enough to get a Strider class unit. Well, like a minor Strider class unit, but still. And Anu actually did as well. Not nearly as much. So there was a bit of a difference there too. So, oh well. See you next time.